So what I had decided to do is I would start my refeed tomorrow um, at 2 o'clock, around 2 o'clock when my um, fasting period ends, and that I would um, refeed only with liquid, like a semi-liquid, so I would puree some uh, vegetable soup, like a, I'll make a, a pumpkin or a cream of broccoli soup, and then I'll drink bone broth. And then I'll see how I feel a, bit, a little bit later, see if I'm hungry, um, see how my digestive system um, accepts food again. Um, because some of the, you know, you can, if you haven't been eating in a long period, you can get sick if you eat immediately. So I'm not going to do solid food right off the bat. Um, but by the, the next day, I should be able to eat solid food again. I presume that I'll, I'll be able to, and then I'll do either a fat type fast, um, which is a limited number of foods that are high in healthy fats and no vegetables or any other carbs of any sort, or I'll do a keto, which is 20 carbs or less. So, um, that's what I originally had intended, but then I got this power surge <laughs> And now I'm kind of rethinking, rethinking whether I should end the fast or not. Um, I have noticed the past couple of days I've started thinking about food again, you know, and I'm like missing food and missing eating food and I'm not craving sugar or carbs or anything like that, but I just like, I miss, I'm missing eating food. I'm missing food. So I, you know, I was looking at some recipes last night for like my, my soup that I'm going to make tomorrow in anticipation. Um, so I don't know. So part of me is like still, you know, break your fast, do your four day, um, keto refeed and then start another fast. And that, that's like my plan to, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, I would start um, another water fast and only for five days. But now I'm kind of on the fence because, again, I have this power surge. And I'm like, if I, could, if I feel like this and I'm not hungry and the hunger doesn't bother me, there's no reason I shouldn't continue um, my original plan of the 21-day fast. The one thing that's holding me back is missing eating. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, so I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what to do. Um, you know, I really want to continue this. Um, I'm having some great and huge emotional and spiritual shifts along with obviously the physical shifts that I'm feeling. I can feel things going on in my body. I can feel myself detoxifying. And, um, of course I know I'm losing weight, even though I'm not using the scale because you can't not eat anything and not take any calories in and not lose weight. So, you know, I know that the, the physical shifts that I'm looking for are happening. Um, the other aspect is that, you know, if I, if I transition into intermittent fasting where, you know, I take this four day break, but I'm still eating very low carb and then I start another, um, fast of five days, um, and then do an, another like three or four day break and then do another fast. Um, I feel like it's still going to give me the emotional and spiritual benefits that I've been looking for. So some kind of on the fence. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to assess how I feel. And that's part of the fasting process. This is an experiment with your body, which I love because I'm, you know, science geek. But, you know, I'm finding that I need to continually reassess where I am, how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. Um, and that doesn't have anything to do with like lack of willpower or, oh, I want to get off the fast so I can eat again. It's not that it's just like reassessing where I'm at in this process. So it's, it's really interesting. Um, I'm going to do that again throughout this whole period that I'm going to be fasting because eventually I'm going to need to find the fasting period that's right for me. It could be just um, overnight. It could be 20 hours, it could be 24 hours, it could be 36, 42, 72, you know, one, two or three days. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm going to find out during this process because it's totally doable. And I want to emphasize that despite the 
fatigue and the hunger, which I've obviously passed, um, this is a really great process to go through. And I feel really good. And I'm not talking about weight loss or anything like that. I just, you know, reframing and redefining my body image, my relationship with food and my body is imperative. And that's really what I want. And then to um, kind of reconnect with my deeper self and have quiet time. And I'm not taking anything in except my thoughts. Um, so there, there's a spiritual aspect of that that's really uh, amazing. Um, you know, I do want to deepen my meditation and do more meditation during these fasting periods. And I'll get to that point. It's been a, like each it's like I'm only on my second water fast, so it's not like I'm an expert or anything, but each fast has been a progression, and I move deeper into the fast. I move deeper into the changes that I want to make. You know, the shifts are much greater than they were. You know, my first fast, it was just physical, and now I'm feeling the mental... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm feeling the uh, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual benefits. So I know that that will um, continue. And, you know, it's like going up a ladder. Uh, that's what it feels like, is that I'm going to make progress um, with my continued fasting. So I'm really, really happy about that. It feels really good. And if you haven't thought about doing this, I really, really encourage it. So... That's my update for Sunday, and I'll get back with you in a few days. I haven't been making my videos like I wanted to every day, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, peace out, peeps, and thanks for watching. Cheers!